Kwa hivyo tukiombea familia hii tuombe taifa letu so that we don't slip back to dictatorship. Na leo tukiwa hapa we want to say this because we have heard Mheshimiwa William Ruto akisema we are witnessing the emergence of judicial tyranny. I would like to say this today as the last minister for justice. What is happening in Kenya today we are not witnessing the emergence of judicial tyranny. What we are witnessing is the emergence of a tyrant and a dictator called William Ruto. Tusipofanya jambo kumuzuia watu wa miu, watu wa webuye. We are going back kwa siku za nyayo, siku za udiktator, na hii itaribu demokrasia yetu. Na tukiwa hapa we are saying no to dictatorship, and we are telling William Ruto hatuta kubali. We know that he was born in, the, in, in that port ya dictatorship ya nyayo ira. Tangu siku za YK92. Hatuta kubali turudishwe nyuma kwa siku za nyayo na siku za udikteta. Tuko pamoja watu wengi. Sasa kukiwa na sheria mbaya, bunge metekwa nyara. Yeye ameleta ushuru. Hakuna rais ameleta ushuru wa juu kama huu jamaa anaitwa Zakayo. Kila kitu imepanda jamani. Ama ama na mwenye nomulivula hii. Leo we wewe kama umia. Na hiyo imeanza na ile sheria mbaya the finance act 2023 ndio imepandisha kila kitu ime double mafuta vat 8% had 16% ndio sababu ile fair waombelezaji fadha amesema hapo kama ulikuwa unakuja na shilingi moja, sasa unapanda na shilingi mbili. kila kitu imepanda na ndio sababu nataka ni na lakini rais Hivi juzi tumeona katika runinga na kwingine umeenda kutishia mahakama kuu kwamba umepeana ilani kwa mahakama ukatwita sisi ni wakora ambao unaenda kotini na kuambia kwamba sisi sio wakora sisi hapana wakora naenda kotini kwa sababu kotini that's where we can find justice that's where we are going to the court so that we can find justice any person who goes to court is not a criminal kwa hivyo kusema kwamba juzi amesema kwamba alipatua sword Yule soda alisema si akukata nini si akata Alisema nyafaa namna gani? Ajikukata wakola sio? Hasa wewe ni mkora? Wewe ni mkora kweli? Wewe unaenda kotini mkora kweli? Sisi sio wakora, sisi ni walipa ushuru ambao yetu ni kuomba kwamba ni lazima uombe msamaha kwa Kenya. Kutuita wakora tafadhali omba nini? Msamaha. Kwa sababu mimi nimeenda kotini kwa sababu nimefinywa na maisha. Nimeenda kotini kwa sababu muongeza bei ya bidhaa. Lakini kulita mkora ni makosa makubwa sana. Kwa sababu huyu mtu anapolipa ushuru wake analipa ili apate services, sio? Kwa hivyo juzi tumeona akisema kwamba na washtumu kwa sababu baadhi ya viongozi wa azimio wao ndio wamechukua jukumu ya kwenda kotini na kupinga maendeleo ambayo serikali inapanga kuleta. Ukiangalia mambo ambayo iko kotini ambayo yote imekuwa blocked ni yale baadhi ya mambo ambayo yangeleta maendeleo. Ukiangalia mambo ya National NHIF saa hizi kesi ya inge kuweko tayari mraya wa Kenya angekuwa anafaidika kwa sababu wametoa hiyo pesa ya ambayo walikuwa wanalipa kwenye kwenye NHIF kutoka 500 to 300. But kwa sababu ya hizi internal court cases zile zinaendelea kuwekwa kila wakati unapata kwamba Azmio imekuwa kizinga a big hindrance to this government in terms of development. Hakuna kitu inaendelea. Kila kitu serikali inajaribu kufanya inapelekwa kotini. It is bogged down such that as we speak serikali haitna nafasi ya kufanya kazi yake. Ningependa tu kuomba baadhi hao wa viongozi ambao mnapanga na hizo njama ya kuleta kila siku koti 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 ndio maendeleo yasionekane. Tupate kuzuia hayo maneno kama viongozi na kama kiongozi kutoka Bungoma ningependa kushtumu hayo. Asante sana.